हेलो बच्चो लेट सेट द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन से डेट अ सेल ऑफ ई एम एफ नाइनटी वोल्ट इज कनेक्टेड अक्रॉस सीरीज कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू रजिस्टर्स इच ऑफ हंड्रेड ओम रजिस्टेंस अ वोल्ट मीटर ऑफ रजिस्टेंस फोर हंड्रेड ओम इज यूज टू मेजर द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस अक्रॉस अक्रॉस इच रजिस्टर द रीडिंग ऑफ द वोल्ट मीटर विल बी सो वी विल सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सी वट विल बी द की कंसेप्ट यूज टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन द की कंसेप्ट डेट विल बी यूज to solve this question will be in series combination potential difference is divided series combination b that is potential difference is divided and as we know that by ohm's law we have b is equal to i r that is b is directly proportional to r by ohm's law we have b is directly proportional to resistance potential difference is directly proportional to resistance so the If we have two resistances, R1 and R2, in series, then and the total potential difference is B, that is across the circuit, and the potential difference across R1 is B1. So we will have B1 is equal to R1 by R1 plus R2 into B, because B is directly proportional to R. Now we have been given two resistors. Each of hundred ohm resistance, and they are connected in series across ninety volt battery. So this is ninety. This is hundred ohm, and this is also hundred ohm. Now a voltmeter of resistance four hundred ohm is used to measure the voltage across each resistor. So suppose first voltmeter is connected across. This R one resistance that is a hundred ohm, so the resistance of the voltmeter is four hundred ohm. So the circuit can be redrawn as at these two resistances, hundred ohm and four hundred ohm will be in parallel, and we know that R P that is resistances in parallel, two resistances in parallel give an equivalent resistance of R one into R two by R one plus R two. So for these two resistances, hundred and four hundred ohm, we will have. An equivalent resistance that will be hundred into four hundred by hundred plus four hundred that is five hundred. So this will be eighty ohm. So this is eighty ohm, and the second resistance is hundred ohm. So the net resistance that will be one hundred eighty ohm. This will be the R equivalent of the circuit because these two resistances are in series. And in series, if two resistances are connected, then equivalent resistance is given by R1 plus R2. Now we will then calculate the current in the circuit. So if this is I, so the circuit can be redrawn as this is 180 ohm equivalent resistance, and the battery is 90 volt. So V is equal to I R by Ohm's law, or I will be equal to V by R. That is. 90 by 180, that is 0.5 ampere. So the current in the circuit will be 0.5 ampere. So voltage across this resistance, that is 100 ohm, will be at 100 and 400 will be in parallel. So the equivalent resistance is 80 ohm. So voltage across each resistor. And similar case will be when the Voltmeter will be connected across another resistance, so we are taking the voltage will be same, potential difference will be same across both the resistance. So we are calculating for one. So for one, reading will be the reading of voltmeter that is V naught will be 0.5 into 80, that will be 40 volt. So 40 volt reading will be. हम 80 से इसलिए मल्टीप्लाई कर रहे हैं, 100 से इसलिए नहीं कर रहे हैं, क्योंकि अगर 100 अगर वोल्ट मीटर हम कनेक्ट कर रहे हैं जब पैरेलल में 100 के तो हमारा इक्विवेलेंट रेजिस्टेंस 80 ओम आ जा रहा है सो दैट्स व्हाई वी आर मल्टीप्लाइंग बाय 80 सो द करेक्ट आंसर विल बी 40 वोल्ट होप यू ऑल अंडरस्टूड इट वेल बेस्ट ऑफ लक